Today, in celebration of our Girl Scout Week, this day is for our titas, which play an important role in our life as Girl Scout. Because without them, we could not attend activities in Girl Scouting. Our titas, or our troop leader, plays a major role in our growth and development in the organization. They serve as friend and role model to us girls. Through them, we earn our badges because of the Girl Scouting activities they give us. We are able to share our talents and discover our potentials. For short, our troop leader is our second parent away from home. So tonight, we will feature three outstanding troop leaders in Pangasinan Council and how they became outstanding in their service and commitment as troop leader. So let's start with troop leader number one. She is now the commissioner on training in Pangasinan Council. She is also the field advisor of Don Ramon E. Costales Memorial National High School. Credential trainer and one of the chief Girl Scout medalist producer in Pangasinan Division 2. And all her three daughters our Chief Girl Scout Medalist. My dear Girl Scouts and leaders, I am referring to Tita Evelyn S. Alcantara, Troop Leader of Senior Troop from Don Ramon E. Costales Memorial National High School. I am Tita Evelyn S. Alcantara, Master Teacher 2 of Don Ramon E. Costales Memorial National High School. I was awarded as National Outstanding Troop Leader of the Year 2013. I've been a Troop Leader for 23 years and a Field Advisor for 18 years. As for my Scouting experience, recently I've been serving as Training Committee Chair and Commissioner in Training for the Triennium 2021-2024 served as Vice Chair and Committee on Training and Subsecretary for the past Triennium 2018-2021. Served as Camp Staff of the different camping events from Council to National Events as Assistant Program Coordinator, Program Coordinator, Assistant Camp Director, Camp Director, and Consult. Attended different trainings from Basic Course to Camp Management Course and t 4 t to trainers workshop. Became a credential trainer last 2006 after my T40 last 2004. Attended different camping from Council to International. 2005 90th anniversary camp in Machulong, Hong Kong. 2015 was able to participate with the other three outstanding Girl Scouts from other regions of Big Peak West sponsored by the Asia Pacific region. And on 2019, was given the opportunity to go to Thailand and Brunei with the other council board from other regions for cultural exchange. My 
greatest challenge as a troop leader is when a candidate on the Chief Girl Scout Medalist team almost give up. Especially when the evaluation is almost there and when the parents don't give enough support to their daughters. But this kind of challenges I face every year, it doesn't mean I will stop. The more I challenge myself, I gave more encouragement and more motivation for my girls to move forward. I didn't stop producing Chief Girl Scout medalists for this gives me fulfillment every time I saw these girls receiving their medals on stage. I can't help myself but carry on because I know for myself that being a national award is not a joke. You cannot be an outstanding overnight. Another fulfillment for me is producing my three daughters as Chief Girl Scout medalist under my troop. As a troop leader, we must serve without expecting something in return. Those awards are just bonuses from up above. If we serve with all our hearts, being committed and compassionate is the key. It is my honor and duty to be in the scouting movement, to serve as an instrument for the growth and development of the young girls to become our future leaders. To be an outstanding is not something that a person has, but it is something a person does with patience and perseverance, above all, with the trust and the will of God. Thank you very much. Our second Tita is also a national awardee. Vice Chairperson of Pangasinan Council Training Committee Field Advisor of Natividad National High School Credential Trainer and a Chief Girl Scout Producer The Troop Leader of Senior Troop from Natividad National High School Outstanding Troop Leader of the Girl Scouts of the Philippines One of our cutest tita in Pangasinan None other than Tita Irene S. Rivera. Good day. I am Irene Sante Rivera, District Field Advisor, Troop Leader of Natividad National High School, and the Council Board Member of GSP Pangasinan Council, as Chairman on the Committee on Training. I am a National Awardee, District Field Advisor in 2015, and I've been granted a worth of 50,000 pesos travel grant and I chose Oman to attend the Oman Forum with a side trip in the UAE. I started as a co-leader since 2003 up to 2005 and became a DFA or District Field Advisor and Troop Leader from 2005 up to the present. Teaching in DEPED is quite an exhausting profession but joining in scouting movement, you would feel a sense of fulfillment as you find your girls enjoying and receiving different awards like the Chief Girl Scout Medalist and Outstanding Girl Scout. As a co-leader, my first camp experience was in Baguio, ating Tahanan South Tribe, during a junior holiday and senior Sarane camp, and it's also my first time to visit Baguio City. And after I became a troop leader, yearly we attended this um, Girl Scout activity. And my first experience uh, in, a, in a provincial camp is held in Ordoneta City National High School where I serve as my first camp staff experience is serve as a health officer, uh, one of the tedious and challenging um, designation as a camp staff. I was one of the recipients of the scholarship from WAGS, which is the Stop the Violence pilot program of WAGS that was held in Sangam, India, one of the WAGS World Centers, and that was an unforgettable experience experience where uh, from traveling I find it uh, from traveling to India experiencing the way of living there uh, for almost two weeks I may say that you will love and hate India adopting the saying of attorney at Charcos Puyo and I became one of the national trainers to roll out this program the stop the violence program and I attended or became a as one of the national scholar, national scholar of Girl Scout, a representative of Pangasinan Council um, 
Free Being Me or Action Body Confidence that was held in um, GSP Training Center in Tagaytay City. I've been a regional camp staff, attended different national events, I may say that Girl Scouting is an organization that constantly gives you new goals to achieve and that's the life what is all about. It is an organization that helps young Filipino women giving the voice and showing them that they are capable of becoming a great leaders in the future. Every time I joined GSP activity with my girls, I found comfort and peace in fully understanding that there is so much more to being a troop leader, a district field advisor. I enjoy myself thinking and acting like we, with my girls, are on the same age, young at heart, sabi nga nila. I enjoy and I am very much fulfilled when a parent says that their daughter don't know how to cook, don't know how to mingle, but right after joining the GSP, they become active, they become one. My greatest challenge as a troop leader and a district field advisor was no one want, when no one wants to become my co-leader. For three years or more, or I brought 20 to 30 girls to camp alone. And thank God, I have responsible girls. Instead of looking at the situation on the negative side, I find it more um, challenging and enjoying. And in that way, I learned so many things about my girls and I learned from this challenge that the most important thing that should be taught to young girls to young girls is leadership a girl should be two things who and what she wants and that inspires me that who and what they want we are one of their holders I will continue to volunteer at carry out movements mission to build girls of courage confidence and character and find it as a rewarding job such and such a fun job. Girl Scout uh, gives you so many stories to tell and songs and songs to sing. Let us teach our young girls leadership. Let us teach them to be a good and kind to one another. Show them that it's not productive to put others down but to bring them up no matter no matter the differences we may, we, we may have. Let us not teach them to compete, but instead to enjoy. It is a great opportunity for us to be part of this movement as the best arena for producing great women leaders of the future. Let us not be outstanding only through awards, but, but let us set a good example for them to follow, to learn from, and to pass on the next generation. And be an inspiration to our world. Thank you. Our third Tita is from the 5th Congressional District of Pangasinan. She is also a trainer and field advisor of Binalonan District 2. Leader for how many years? But now, principal of Buad Elementary School, Binalonan District 2. An outstanding district field advisor in the year 2019 of Girl Scouts of the Philippines. Without further ado, she's none other than Tita Rosalia F. Damasco. Hello mga titas, I am Tita Rosalia Fontanilla Damasco, Principal 3, Troop Leader and Field Advisor of Bued Elementary School, Binalonan District 2, Binalonan Pangasinan, Division of Pangasinan 2. I was awarded as National Outstanding District Field Advisor in the year 2019. I am a troop leader for 21 years and a field advisor for 17 years. 
I participated in various Girl Scout events and trainings in the Council, Regional, National, and International since 2001 to present. I serve as Committee Board of Judges and Consultant in the Pitt District Girl Scout Week celebration from year 2006 to present. Serve as Board of Judges in various events in Pangasinan Council District Girl Scout Week celebration since 2006 to present. I serve as a camp staff and Board of Judges in the Provincial Camp since 2006 to present. I serve as a camp staff during the Regional Camp 2020 before lockdown. My greatest challenge as troop leader and a field advisor is to fill an important role in the girls' lives, fearless leader, empowering, role model, and innovative event organizer and trainer, especially in the new normal education and among others, though I belong to a person with disability. No one said this rewarding journey in GSP would be easy, but as a troop leader and a field advisor, I'll be more ready to meet any challenges that comes my way by constant prayer, strong faith in God, and the guidance of the Word of God. With the strong support of my dad and family in Binalonan District 2, the Division of Pangasinan 2, and the Pangasinan Council, everything will become successful and victorious that will surely benefit our young girls. What inspires me in a Girl Scout as a troop leader and a field advisor is the person behind in my journey the person and people who modeled in service, passion, and commitment that I really admired. First, to Cephalianis Iskoda, the founder to the Girl Scout of the Philippines. Second is Madam Trinidad Bautista, our council board and awards committee chair. Thirdly is Madam Yupemia Babes de Guzman, yes, the Pangasinan Council Executive. And lastly, the people behind the success of Pangasinan Council that even in their hectic work and age, they still manage to serve at their best without any resentment. I really salute these people who would mold and develop me, who I am now as the field advisor of Binalonan District 2. My message to you, my dear field advisor and troop leader, to be strong and keep your fire burning. We have a great responsibility to the nation and God as we have learned we are like a lamp that bring it light in the path of our young girls and new troop leaders as well. As the Bible says in Matthew 5 verse 14 to 16, You are the light of the world, a town built on a hill, cannot be hidden, neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. May we continue to live, to lead, and to serve. God bless and happy Girl Scout Week celebration. Mabuhay ang Pangasinan Council.
all titas out there, thank you for being our second mother and thank you for your support and guidance. And lastly, thank you for making us Girl Scouts. Could not do thanks to you for teaching me how to feel, showing me my emotions, letting me know what's real from what is not. What I've got is more than I'd ever hoped for, and a lot of what I've hoped for is thanks to you. People only see Girl Scouts as cute little girls who attend different Girl Scouting activities. There is so much more happening. We are pioneers for our communities, advocates for all girls, adventure seekers, and so much more. And Girl Scouts wouldn't have these opportunities without the help of our troop leaders. Troop leaders like you dedicate your time, home, and sometimes sanity, putting your all into helping the troop. Our troop leaders taught us the Girl Scout promise in law, and also troop leaders taught us how to become a friend to every other Girl Scout, and allowed us to take our first steps into womanhood. Our troop leaders were our role models. While we were learning all of this, different skills and simply had to show up for meetings, they were the powerful force behind it all. Communicating, planning, and encouraging us to take the lead where we could. The leaders spent countless hours driving us around, chaperoning us at overnights, and supervising us while we attended many different events. This helped us get into our community and change the world. As we become more and more independent, our troop leaders were able to sit back and relax even if it was only for a bit. Troop leaders not only provided a step-by-step -step approach to learning essential life skills, but they gave us adventure, friendships, role models, and so many different memories to cherish. Troop leaders gave us so much more. They gave us the world, whether they realize it or not. They shaped us 
into the woman we have become today. For that, in behalf of the Girl Scouts from Pangasinan Council, I just want to say thank you because I know we haven't said it enough. Happy Troop Leaders Day, Titas!